Hi, Louis from TradeOptionsWithMe.com here. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I want to present you my new Excel Trading Journal template. But before I present the template itself, I just want to talk about how important tracking your trades is for a few seconds. Tracking your trades is essential to your success as a trader. Tracking trades is the only way to learn from your mistakes, to learn from your losses. If you don't track your trades, you can't find out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And if you can't do that, then you can't improve. One reason why so many traders are stuck is because they don't track their trades. And it's not only me that's saying this. Tons of very successful traders constantly reiterate the importance of tracking trades. So make sure to track your trades from now on and let your results guide you. So as you now know the importance of tracking trades, I want to present you how you can track your trades, namely with my Excel trading journal template. Obviously you could also create your own template, but from personal experience I can say that it is quite time consuming and it isn't the easiest thing in the world. So if you want to save yourself at least a few hours of time and a lot of tedious work, then just get mine. With that being said, let's dive right into my Excel trading journal template. This is how my template looks like without any data inserted. So without any trades, this is how it looks. As you can see, there is space for tons and tons of trades and a lot of data can be tracked. I divided the top of this template into three different sections. The first section is the long setup section, the next one is the short setup section and the last section is the options trades section. So basically what this means is this section, the long setup section, is for long trades, so for buying strategies, for buying stock for instance, but you can also use or enter forex trades, futures trades or any other types of trades. The short setup section is for short bias trading, so if you're shorting stocks or shorting other assets then the trades are entered here. And the options trade section is for options trading. So if you're trading options, you can also track this here. Many trading journal programs actually don't allow you to enter options trades. So that's definitely an advantage. These sections are each divided into two subsections as well. For instance, the long setup section is divided into BO, which stands for breakout plays, and dip buy plays, which are two long strategies that I use. However, you can rename this however you want to rename it. It really doesn't matter. If you rename them here at the top, it will change for the entire spreadsheet. So the data that you have to enter manually after each trade is the entry date, the entry time, exit date, exit time, and then the time in the trade will be displayed automatically. Then you should also enter the, your entry price, exit price, and size, so number of shares then your total PNL will be calculated automatically and your percentage gain or percentage loss will also be calculated automatically. Another thing that you have to enter is the commissions. If you want to enter them, you could also leave them out, but I do recommend entering them. Furthermore, you should also enter the ticker symbol. And last but not least, you should enter some notes and lessons. And I really want to emphasize the importance of actually entering notes and lessons learned from your trades. If you just enter these stats, like the entry price, exit price, you will see your total PL and you will see the numbers. But to improve, you have to write down what went right, what didn't go so good, and how you can improve next time. What did you learn? What lessons did you learn on the trade? If you don't do this, then it's pointless. You have to learn from your trades. That's why I really find these two categories very important. After entering your trades, 
data will be analyzed down here. So for each strategy, you will see the average time in a trade and the win percentage, the total PNL, the average percentage gain or loss and the average dollar gain or loss. So this will be displayed separately for each strategy, which is once again a very important thing. Different strategies have to be tracked differently. If you treat all strategies the same way, then tracking trades won't give you good results. Different trades are different and therefore they have to be tracked and treated differently. But obviously you will also see your total PNL down here, your, your total win percentage here, your average dollar volume here, your average percent gain or loss here. Furthermore, I also implemented the total commissions paid, the number of trades here, the average time in a trade for all your trades. Next up, we have the PNL today, the PNL for the week, the PNL for this month, and the PNL for this year. All very important metrics. Next up, we have PNL charts here, and once again, I added a PNL chart for each strategy because once again different strategies have to be tracked differently for instance your options trades have to be tracked different from your stock or forex trades or whatever and also long bias trades have to be treated differently than short bias trades because they are two completely different strategies further down we have the PL distribution for each of these strategies so you can see a chart of the PNL distribution for each of these strategies. And down here I have rankings which ranks all of the strategies by total PNL, by win percentage, by average percentage gain or loss and by average dollar gain. I will show you a filled out spreadsheet in a few minutes to show you how this looks with some data in it. But down here you also have the biggest percent profit, the biggest percent loss, the biggest dollar profit, the biggest dollar loss and average percent gain, average percent loss, average dollar gain and average dollar loss. So a few more metrics that could be helpful to track. And right next to this we have the total PNL chart. So the PNL chart of your overall portfolio if you add up the PNL of all your trades. Right next to this, I have a few other charts that could help you in improving different aspects of your trading. First off, I have a chart that compares the PNL of each trade to the holding time in days. So how long, how many days did you hold the trade? And here you might find a correlation in your trades between how long you hold your trades and the PNL, so the outcome of the trade. Next to this, I created basically the same chart just for intraday trades. So all trades that are held for less than a day are tracked here where the PNL is compared to the holding time in hours, minutes and seconds. Furthermore, we have the PNL versus stock price chart where the stock price is compared to the PNL. So do you usually do better with higher priced or lower priced stocks? That's what you can find out with this chart. And next to this we have a PNL versus entry chart. Here you can find out if you trade best in the morning, midday or afternoon. Last but not least we have a PNL versus weekday of entry. So which weekday is the most profitable for you when it comes to entry? Now I want to show you my template with some data in it. So I just entered some sample trades. In this one I entered trades for the first long setup, for the first short setup and for short premium trades. And note these are not real trades, I just made them up. These are not my trades or anyone else's trades. I just want to show you how my spreadsheet looks with some data in it. So as you can see here, here's the time that you were in the trade or that, the, that I theoretically was in this trade. 
how many days, how many minutes. Here you can see the PNL, here the percentage gain or loss. Here I entered what I could have learned if this trade would have been real. And if you scroll down, you can see the total PNL for this strategy with these trades would be almost $2,000 profit, which isn't bad. Then the average time in this trade would be around one and a half days and a few hours or one day and a few hours. The win percentage was 59%. The average percentage gain was 11.5% and the average dollar gain was 111.21. All of this is also available for the other strategies. For instance, for the first short setup, you can also see the win percentage, total PNL, and the same goes for the options trades. So the total PNL of all the made up trades here is about $4,080, and the win percentage is 65.9%, and I won't really show you all the other stats because it doesn't matter. You get the point. Down here you can see the different PNL graphs of the different strategies. And down here you can see the PNL distribution. And finally down here we have rankings for these strategies. In terms of the total PNL, the breakout strategy performed best. However, when it comes to win rate, the short premium strategy performed best and when it comes to average percent gain these actually had a negative per average percent gain whereas the breakout strategy had a positive percent gain and the biggest percent profit was 117 percent the biggest percent loss was 360 percent and so on the total pnl graph looks like this and here you can also see how these charts look with some actual data in them. And once again, all these names can be changed. If you change them at the top, all of these strategies are renamed here as well. Generally, you can customize this spreadsheet however you want to customize it. Before I conclude this video, I also want to add that I added notes everywhere. For instance, up here, general note tips, and here, some other notes, just so that if you decide to get this template for you, that you will know how to use it. But you can always contact me and I will do my best to respond as fast as possible to help you out. So with that being said, I hope you can find some value in this spreadsheet. I hope it can help you with tracking your trades and improving your trading performance. So last but not least, I just want to re-emphasize the importance of tracking trades. It doesn't matter if you get this spreadsheet to track your trades or not, just make sure to track your trades from now on. It's so important to track your trades to actually improve. With that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.